Hey everyone, this video is going to be about Addison's disease. The adrenal glands are small organs located on top of each kidney that produce hormones essential for life, such as cortisol and aldosterone. Addison's disease, also known as primary adrenal insufficiency or adrenal insufficiency, is a rare but potentially serious disorder where the adrenal glands do not produce enough hormones. Let's talk about the hormones secreted by adrenal glands. First of all, we have cortisol, which is the stress hormone. It regulates metabolism, blood sugar levels, and the body's response to stress. Aldosterone, which is regulating the sodium and potassium levels, which are crucial for maintaining blood pressure and fluid balance. Adrenal androgens, these hormones are involved in the development of secondary sexual characteristics. There are few causes of adrenal insufficiency. First of all, we have autoimmune disorder. In about 70 to 90% of the cases, a distance disease is caused by the body's immune system, mistakenly attacking the adrenal glands. So our body attacks our adrenal glands infections certain infections like tuberculosis fungal infections or hiv can damage the adrenal glands which can lead to addison's disease cancer tumors in adrenal glands or metastasis from other cancers can impair the adrenal function genetic some genetic factors may predispose individuals to addison's disease let's talk about the symptoms you can experience with this disease, chronic fatigue, persistent and debilitating tiredness, weight loss, unintentional weight loss may occur despite normal eating habits in this disease, muscle weakness, especially in the arms and legs, low blood pressure, hypotension, especially when you stand up quickly, hyperpigmentation, which is darkening of the skin, especially sun exposed areas and pressure points, salt cravings due to the low aldosterone levels. Digestive issues like nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain, diarrhea. To diagnose Addison's disease, we use blood tests. We are measuring cortisol and ACTH, electrolytes, and sometimes adrenal antibodies. ACTH stimulation test, which measures cortisol response to synthetic ACTH. And imaging, we can use CT or MRI scans to visualize adrenal glands. This is how we are diagnosing the addictions. To treat it, we use hormone replacement therapy. We use corticosteroids like hydrocortisone or prednisone to replace cortisol and sometimes fludrocortisone to replace aldosterone. We monitor the blood sugar levels, salt intake and stress management. We carry injectable cortisol for emergencies and regular follow-ups are very important because adjustments to med medication doses may be needed during periods of illness, stress, or pregnancy. Let's talk about the complications of Addison's disease. One of them is adrenal crisis, which is life-threatening condition resulting from severely low cortisol levels. We can characterize this by hypotension, dehydration, and altered consciousness. Bone health, long-term corticosteroids can lead to osteoporosis. It can, it can lead to thyroid dysfunction because increased risk of autoimmune thyroid disorders. But we should know that with proper treatment and monitoring, the prognosis is generally good. However, adherence to medication and regular medical follow-ups are essential to prevent complications. It's crucial for individuals with Addison's to have comprehensive understanding of their condition, work closely with healthcare providers, and maintain a healthy lifestyle to manage the condition effectively thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch our graves disease video don't forget to watch how to detox your pancreas video how to detox your liver video see you on the next